many of you, many of you and what this strike with Verizon is about as well are paying more and more for deductibles and co-payments. And every day we are getting ripped off by the pharmaceutical industry who charge us the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. You want to hear crazy? Crazy is one out of five Americans getting a prescription from their doctors but not being able to afford to fill that prescription. Crazy is elderly people cutting their pills in half because they cannot afford the medicine that they need. And then on top of all of that, we spend far, far more per capita on health care than do the people of any other country. And that is why, in my view, we must join the rest of the industrialized world through a Medicare for all single payer program. people are beginning to look at the status quo and they are understanding that it is not acceptable and that it is not working for them. They are looking around them and they're asking, how does it happen that we have more income and wealth inequality than any other major country on earth? How does it happen that for 30 years the middle class of this country has been shrinking and trillions of dollars in wealth have gone from working families to the top one-tenth of one percent? How does it happen that we have more people in jail than any other country on earth? How does it happen that we are the only major country not to guarantee pay, family, and medical leave? How does it happen that we are the only major country not to guarantee health care to all people? Why is it, they ask, that our infrastructure is crumbling, that we have the highest rate of childhood poverty of almost any major country? People are looking around them and they're saying, this is not what America is supposed to be about. And people also understand that real change in America has never come from the top on down. It has always come from the bottom on up. The American people understood that over a hundred years ago when workers had no rights, when they were working seven days a week, when children were working in factories, when people could be fired arbitrarily. Workers came together and they said, we're not animals, we're not beasts of burdens, we are human beings, we are going to have dignity on the job, we are going to form trade unions. Yeah! And hundreds of years ago, in the midst of the agony of slavery, African Americans and their allies began standing up, coming together, to say that in America, the day will come when we will end slavery and racism and bigotry and discrimination. And millions of people came together to fight for that vision. A hundred years ago, no time at all, from a historical perspective, women in America did not have the right to vote, did not have the right to get the education they wanted or the jobs they wanted. But women stood up. Yeah. They stood up, they fought back, they went on hunger strikes, they went to jail, some of them died but with their male allies, 
they said that in this country, women will not be second-class citizens. If we were here 10 years ago, no time at all, and somebody jumped up here and said, Bernie, you know, I think that in America, gay marriage will be legal in 50 states in this country, the person next to her would have said, you're nuts. That can't happen that fast. But it happened because the gay community... Great allies said that in America, people will have the right to love whoever they want, regardless of their choice. If we were here five years ago, no time at all, and somebody jumps up and says, you know, Bernie, this $7.25 federal minimum wage, starvation wage, we got to raise it to 15 bucks an hour. The person next to him would have said, 15 bucks an hour? You want to double the minimum wage? You're crazy. You're thinking too big. It's too radical an idea. Be sensible. It can't happen. But you know what occurred? The people in the fast food industry in McDonald's and Burger King, those people went out on strike. And they told the world, they can't make it on seven and a quarter or nine bucks an hour. And then what happened? Seattle, Los Angeles, San Francisco, 15 bucks an hour. Oregon, California, New York State, 15 bucks an hour. In other words, what was seen as radical Fifty five years ago, unthinkable has happened. Yes. And that is where we are today. The establishment tells you that we can't break through the status quo, that our options are very, very small. I don't believe it. I believe that when people stand up, when they exercise their democratic rights, when they are prepared to fight for social and economic and racial justice, there is nothing we cannot accomplish. President, it is empowering our entire people. It is understanding that each and every one of you are very powerful people when you choose to exercise that power. And tomorrow is a good first step in exercising that power. The Democratic primary here in New York State. It is an enormously important primary because there are a lot of delegates at stake. My experience has been in this campaign so far is that we 